Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier this week, Microsoft rolled out and released the June 2023 Patch Tuesday security updates for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And as I did post for Windows 10, the update was KB5027215, which was a compulsory mandatory update, which would have been downloaded and installed automatically onto your device. Now, I'll leave a link to the video I did post on the update in the description. But just to give you a quick heads up that um, there are user reports now doing the rounds online that um, this Patch Tuesday update for Windows 10 is taking a very long time to install, much longer than normal. And according to reports, um, it's because of the cleanup process that is running post-update. Now, as many of you know, um, especially on Windows 10, and you may know, um, if you do... Um, install a couple of updates together at the same time on Windows 10. When you um, reboot your device and restart your device to apply the updates, you get a cleanup process that runs post-update and also shows up before your login screen. And um, this on a normal day will take a couple of minutes to um, uh, complete the cleanup process, but according to reports now, it's taken as much as a half an hour, up to a half an hour to complete, which is extreme and not normal. So the update is taking a very long time to install for a lot of users. So just bringing your attention to the fact that um, if you were faced with this issue, that was what the problem, and this is what the problem is all about. And um, it is quite tempting for a lot of users, if updates are taking a long time to install, to kind of... Um, hard shut down your device and then restart it which is not advised um, because um, that can damage your operating system so it is advised um, to let the update install completely even though that cleanup process is taking a long time so if you do notice that it's taking a long time there's nothing actually wrong with the update it's just that cleanup process that is taking up to a half an hour in some cases to um to actually complete so um, it's just taking much longer than usual so just take note of that now at this stage Microsoft um, because it's still early days um, hasn't acknowledged the issue officially yet so because of that there is no workaround or fix at this stage but nonetheless um, if you have experienced any issues with the Windows 10 update although it's not advised because it is an important security update you can uninstall the update and you can do this by heading to your view update history page, clicking on the link at the top, uninstall updates. And yeah, you'll see the update right at the top, uh, KB5027215. You click on that and then you will see an uninstall button here at the top. You click on uninstall and that you just follow the prompts and then you'll have to restart your device to roll back the update. Now, just on a side note, you'll notice that I do not have the uninstall button. If I click on the update, I do not have the uninstall button. And the reason for that is if you're not seeing the uninstall button to uninstall any update, in a lot of the cases, it means you have done a disk cleanup, which has um, removed a lot of the installation files for the update, which is quite normal. So if you're not seeing uninstall, it's because you've run a disk cleanup, then unfortunately you won't be able to uninstall the update. But if you haven't run a disk cleanup, then you obviously will have the option to uninstall the update. And it's always advised um, if you do uninstall updates that are mandatory patch Tuesday updates, you should always come back and pause the update. And because obviously the update then will just want to reinstall itself automatically. So nonetheless, just letting you know that that update 5027215 is taking a very long time to install because of the cleanup process. And if I get any more info, obviously I will let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.